Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY Galaxy phone case. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I made my other phone cases, just check out my DIY Christmas gift video and I show you how to make those. Um, today I am sick, if you can't hear it by my voice. And so, I figure whenever I'm sick, I always want to do crafts and DIY and stuff since I'm stuck inside the house. Um, and it makes me feel a bit more productive in my sickness. So, I figured today I'd be showing you how to take a dollar store case. This is hard case for iPhone is what the package says. Um, it is this periwinkle blue color. It is a plastic hard case, no top, no bottom, just sides and the back. And then it has the, um iPhone like placement thing. Um, how to take this and change it into a Galaxy Nebula Cosmic case. I was inspired to do this by some images I saw and also by these shoes that I have been craving and wanting and they are the Jeffrey Campbell oh my gosh um, or oh my god uh, pink cosmic sneakers and they are beyond gorgeous but they're eighty dollars so I can't exactly afford them right now so I figured I'd do a pink cosmic design on my phone case instead then you're going to need some paint to cover that um, I'm using the craft smart acrylic paint this is in black this is from Michaels um, cost 69 cents so super freaking cheap so you're gonna need some acrylic paint um, in every single color that you want to use in your galaxy as well or and I'll show you the alternative in a second you're going to need um, some other types of paint so the other paint that I have here is the craft smart acrylic paint in white also 69 cents at Michaels and I'm going to be using this in my galaxy design <laughs> And then if you can't buy acrylic paint, which is so much cheaper than buying nail polishes, but if you're a nail polish freak like I am, you probably already have all these colors and you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of acrylic paints, you can use nail polish colors instead. But the colors that I have here, um, I have a silver. This is Wet n Wild's Silviver. I can never pronounce that. It's a glittery silver. I don't think I'll be using this because I don't really like silver in Galaxy Designs, but it's there anyways. I have Sally Hansen HD High Definition Nail Color. This is in blue, number two, and it is a sort of light blue color. It's very sheer, so it'll be nice for adding a tint. I have Spoiled in Platinum, which I also don't think I'll be using, but it's a nice spacey duochrome color. I have Julep Nail Varnish, and this is in um, Marissa. So, in Marissa, and this is a navy blue color. And then I have OPI's Russian Navy, and this is a more purple color toned navy shade. I have LA Splash Cosmetics nail color and this is in Blowfish Hot Pink which is a very nice cream hot pink color. Then I have LA Colors Color Craze um, from the Art Deco Collection in Bliss which is a lavender shade. Very pretty for light galaxies. Um, then I have Sally Henson Hard as Nails in Purple Potion which is a vibrant grape color um, with lots of shimmer. And then last but not least, I have LA Colors Color Craze in Delicate, also from the Art Deco, and this is a pastel pink. So, basically, you want to pull up a picture of whatever galaxy is inspiring you. Um, and you would also need a white nail polish if you're not having white acrylic paint because you're going to need to paint on stars and stuff. But, um, in addition to those, you're going to need Mod Podge. And this is to give it a glossy coat at the very end to make it look like a real phone case and also to protect the design. And that can be picked up at any craft store. Mine cost me about six dollars, um, but fairly cheap. You're going to need some foam brushes um, just to paint on the full color of the phone case. You won't really need them much later. Um, you'll need one for Mod Podge. This is the one for Mod Podge. And you'll need one for painting. Um, you'll need some detail brushes. I have this like concealer brush that I use for my normal nail polish designs. Um, I'm going to use this to point on stars. So 
yeah and then just as some extra applicators I have some eyeshadow applicators these are just the cheap kind it'll be nice um, as a sponge to apply some colors with and then I'm also going to be using and I'm also going to be using cosmetic sponges this is a pack from like the dollar store and these are the white triangle sponges and I'm just going to rip off some pieces to give me a nice textured end there. You can see where it went from smooth to textured. And then I also have these pieces here that are smaller that I can use as textured pieces. So you're only going to really need one of those sponges. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and paint on this black base coat first. I'm just going to squeeze some out on the aluminum just a bit. And then I'm going to take my brush and go ahead and paint right on.
Okay, so <laughs> my creation is now complete, and if you're wondering, I tried to show as many colors as I used, like, that I used during the tutorial. Um, I did end up using one of the shadow applicators just at the end for detail work, honestly. These are so, so useful, so if you can get your hands on these, definitely recommend it because um, I liked going back in after sort of looking at it and staring at it. You'll Once you've finished putting down most of your colors... And now it's sitting in wet paint, and I don't want it to get messed up. After laying down most of your colors, um, you'll realize that it's either too much of one color, or too little of another, or so on and so forth. And you'll want to change it up a little bit, unless you're a perfectionist and you already did that. Um, like, while you were working through it, you changed it up. If you're an artist, by all means, you probably have a perfect creation already. However, I am not an artist by any means, um, so I'm very trial error, and... Um, I like my end product to look exactly how I sort of imagined it. So, um, this is really nice for sort of just going back in at the very end and sort of adding a little bit more blue, a little bit more pink, um, a little bit more black, or a little bit more white. Um, just depending on if it's too dark or too light or too pink or too blue or whatever. Because mine is dry to the touch, um, nothing's moving when I use my finger on the case. I'm going to go ahead and take my Mod Podge, and this is the gloss finish. You can also buy matte finishes if you like a matte finish with this. Um, but the gloss finish seemed to fit my preferences a little bit better. I just got Mod Podge all over my leg. So nice. Um, I'm going to open this up by some kind of means. I need to rip off my Mod Podge top. So, I'm going to take my foam brush and dip it in the Mod Podge container. Some people like to pour out their Mod Podge. Um, my palette, my artist palette, is purely for makeup, so I'm not going to pour it out anywhere. Um, but if you are picky about something like that, you can go right ahead. So, I'm just going to paint on a fairly thick layer of Mod Podge um, and I will show you. You can see here it goes on white um, and most people would be like what? I don't want that white ruining my case but it does not dry white um, common misconception. It um, dries clear if you're wondering that's the whole point of Mod Podge is it gives you a clear protective layer over your items so if your painting isn't perfect doesn't matter because um, it's gonna dry clear anyways so don't worry too much about this part just make sure you get every edge and we're also going to do more than one layer every 20 minutes that's how long it takes Mod Podge to dry if you do a um, you know thin enough layer uh, every 20 minutes I'm going to come back and do another coat. Um, don't. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to show you guys a finished product sort of image, and this is stuck right now. I don't worry too much, it'll peel right off. But um, it does tend to stick a bit if you're not careful. So just peel it off carefully, especially if you use aluminum foil like me. If you use like a plastic surface or something, you should be fine. Just take it right off. Um, but peeling off just the little extras and stuff that got a little goopy on me. This is the finished product. I have one more layer of Mod Podge to go. That's just by preference because um, I already did three coats of Mod Podge. Um, I just want to do one more just to be sure. But Basically, it looks like this. Um, it does have a nice shimmer, actually, because I use some shimmer um, things. So when the light hits over it in certain places, you can see right here. Maybe if I turn off this light, you can see a little better the design. Um, there is some shimmer in certain places. So, and it has that nice glossy finish. It reflects light beautifully because of the Mod Podge. 
and it has nice pinks and everything in it. It's really cool, really um, on point with like galaxy cases that are coming out right now. And if you don't know me at um like as a person, then you probably don't know. But I am totally, utterly, completely obsessed with cosmic print and galaxies and nebulas and stars. I'm totally, totally, totally obsessed with them. So, um, like you can visit my Tumblr and my background is like galaxies. I want the cosmic. Oh my God! Um, by Jeffrey Campbell. So I'm totally obsessed with it. So now, to add something to my Galaxy collection, I have my new Galaxy iPhone cover. So I will insert still images at the end of the video just to show you the finished product like on my phone and stuff because I do have to add another layer and let this dry for a day or two to make sure that it's fully cured before I actually stick it on my phone just as a precautionary act. Um, but... For the most part, it is completely done, and I love, 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 love it. Um, yeah, I'm totally proud of it, and it's my own handiwork, so I can brag about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you create your own Galaxy Nebula Cosmic case, please, please, please send a picture to me. You can tag me on Instagram if you put it on Instagram, um, at princessa 3 x you can send it to my Twitter, which is at PointDexterTweet. You can send it to me in a message here on YouTube. PrincessaThreeX is my username, of course. Um, I also have a Tumblr that you can tag me on. I am Heavenly Flashes on Tumblr. And so many other sites, all of which I will link below. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy, fun, do-it-yourself project that I hope you guys totally love. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later.